Special things will happen when we trust God. We can look at Jin Wu in solo leveling because he is in a catacomb or a structure that is with a God. And there's three commandments that he had to follow in order to escape the structure that he was in. And he also gets some powers at the end, which I think is just going to be fascinating and interesting to see. So the first commandment <clears throat> is worship the Lord or revere God. So in that position, we need to praise God, praise our being, praise ourself, praise the all knowing creator. We can do this out of nature. We can do this within meditation. We can do this through reading the Bible or scripture or other sort of religious passages by worshiping the Lord and praying when we are need to and not even when we need to pray all the time so that's commandment one and they had to do that in solo leveling and everybody did that and they had the faith they had they were revering god because that was the easy part the easiest commandment is number one is revere the god commandment two praise the lord and praise the god this one's a little bit tougher or trickier because the god can follow you around it can chase you it can make you it, it could potentially kill you because it's like I need to be praised. So it's just like, how could I be praised? And the way that I would always praise God is I'd go on like hikes or bike rides or walks or runs or like lift weight. And I would praise God this way because I was tuning my body to be worthy of God. And I look at this in terms of like, if I have a strong body, then I have a strong mind. And how I look at myself on the outside is just direct reflection of myself on the inside. So me praising God is in a sense, me praising myself. And that's commandment two. We have to follow all three of the commandments in order to create a certain level of success or to get to that next level to be stronger than we ever have been. And that's why commandment three is always the hardest one for most people. And we can see this in solo leveling. Everybody starts to run away. They can't withstand the burden or the stress of proving their faith to God because faith is hard. Faith is something that is challenging. Faith is something that is unseen. And let me actually grab this really quick. I wanted to read a passage from The Power of Imagination, uh, the Neville Goddard thesaurus, and I just lost the page that I was on, so one second. Okay, so, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye, sa ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Faith, he is told, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, and again, through faith, the world's were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Invisible things were made visible. And this is where I think a lot of people lose faith in what happened within solo leveling as to why everybody else ran away was because they're like, I can't prove my faith to God. How do I prove my faith to God? Like, it's something that I, I can't see. So if I can't see it, then it's not true. It's just we can look at this in terms of like, when a seed is planted in the ground, the seed doesn't know that it's going to grow. Like, we have no proof of concept like we have faith that the seed is going to grow into a massive oak tree or something like that and its roots start to spread like we start to see all this growth we start to see like things happening underground and this happens when we do set out on like a personal journey of self-development personal growth and being tested with our faith is everything starts underground and then as we start to like evolve and grow and learn everything starts to start to come to the surface and the trees start to sprout and then all of a sudden it's like no matter what wind or force or structure that like demon or like um warrior comes to us they can't defeat us because we had conviction in our faith and this is what's happening with jen Wu and so leveling his faith is being tested <clears throat> he was put on the altar he is the one that decided to stay like i mean he decided to stay because his leg was chopped off but he was also like I'm the weakest. You guys go like we're, we'll make it. And it's just like, he's not the weakest. He was the strongest of everybody because he believed in God. He believed in his faith. He believed in the person that he knew he could become. And if that meant that he was protecting everybody else, because he was able to understand the commandment one, where it was to revere God. He understood commandment two, how it was to praise God. And then he also understood commandment three, where it was to prove his faith to God. And that's why he's like, if he dies in the process, just like if I die in the process, if I go broke, if I don't see it, it's because I have faith in God. I have faith in myself. I have faith in the universe. I have faith that things are going to work out, even if they aren't seen right now. And this is how Jin Wu is able to level up and become the infinite player 
that he is. And we can look at this in terms of like the years 2024. If we add two plus two plus four, we get eight. And eight is a number that has no end. If we turn it to the side, it's an infinity symbol. <clears throat> which means there is no end. So it means that we are in a year of abundance. If we're in a year of abundance, then God's timing has been perfect. And for the past two, three years, it was all me worshiping the Lord, praise, revering God. And then it was me praising God as well too. And now it's my time to have faith in the Lord, have faith in God, have faith in myself, have faith in the unknown. Because I know that if I do this, <sighs> I just know that deep down, like things are going to work out. There's no proof. There's like no way of truly knowing. I just have trust and faith in God. And if everybody else had faith in God and didn't leave the circle within solo leveling, they also would have the same powers as Jin Wu. It's just, they decided to leave because they didn't trust in God. They didn't have faith that the almighty being knew best and was going to have to test us. And we were going to have to prove our faith because if we do this, then we do have an will unlock unlimited powers it's a matter of having belief and faith and conviction in oneself and in god and in the universe that things will work out in the ways that they need to and that's why i believe that solo leveling has come into our reality as of this year and didn't come prior years because we had to see what we could do prior to this point in time and now the time is right for this animate to be in our reality so that we can have faith and maybe you guys are in a position or maybe you're in a position right now where you're just revering god and you're praising god eventually you'll get to a point where you can have faith in god and if you're watching my content you've been watching my videos for a while i have a feeling that you're more in the faith stage the faith stage is one of the hardest stages to be in because it's like as we can see in the anime everybody runs everybody fears that everybody wants to escape through that door it's just the ones that stay are the ones who become unbeatable Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel for more videos such as this. And if you have any anime recommendations, let me know. Talk soon. Well, tomorrow, I should say.